All right, welcome back, guys. So now we're looking at a real schematic diagram with a real contactor in it. And I'm going to show you why you really need to understand schematic diagrams and why contactors and relay is a little bit more difficult. So what we're looking at is a Lennox heat pump defrost control board and outdoor condenser schematic over here. Over here is the contactor. So let's break this down and see why this gets to be challenging sometimes. So our coil voltages on the contactor come in here and here. This is what energizes that magnetic coil. And if you remember the magnetic coil and relay schematic symbol was a little zigzag right here. This happens to be the coil of the contactor that we're looking at. It's here on the right here on the schematic diagram. This is one contact normally open contact And this one just happens to be a straight bus bar that goes through here. Power is always applied. It's not even a contact. It's a straight bus bar. So on, a, on the contactor itself, everything is in one physical area in one component. But on the schematic diagram, we have our contactor coil here. And then we have the normally open contact here and the straight through bus bar right here in three different locations on that schematic diagram and if you have a relay you can you could conceivably have one contactor coil and several of the normally open normally closed contacts depending on the circuit so you really need to be able to look at the schematic diagram and see that this is the compressor contactor. You, okay, you identify that. That's K11. That means it is circuit designator K1 contact 1. Then it shows then you don't have a contactor at all, but it does contact at all, but it does say compressor contactor. That's your straight through bus bar. And this is K1 coil circuit. All right, so a lot of the manufacturers are, are going to have different designators. They may have different schematic symbols, but these are the basic ones. But you need to be able to look at this schematic diagram and break out those components individually so that you can, you can put together what's happening with this one single component and the contactor. So this is just, we're going to practice this. We will revisit this. We'll go through this whole, the defrost control sequence when we get into heat pumps. We'll take this and go through from A to Z and break it down. But right now, you just need to remember that the, the contactor and relay, while physically it is all together, on the schematic it's going to be broken apart so that it's easier to read and diagram out with the wiring and components in the circuit.